The Kasich administration continues its effort to crack down on opiate prescribing in Ohio. New at 6, our State House reporter Jason Aubrey tells us about this latest round of new rules. The administration says their new rules will not take anyone's pain medicine away, but some professionals say the rules may have unintended consequences that do just that. Unlike previous rules that limited the amount of pills prescribed for acute or short term pain, the rules released today for chronic and long term pain set up checkpoints. We want to assure that Ohioans receive the treatments that they need to relieve pain and improve functioning while at the same time minimizing the risk of adverse outcomes such as addiction and overdose. The checkpoints are based on the potency of the painkiller prescribed. At lower levels, the prescribing physician will have to reevaluate the patient's underlying condition and look for signs for prescription misuse. And at the highest dosage levels, an additional consultation with a pain management specialist will be required. These additional assessments will help ensure that subacute and chronic pain patients are more carefully managed, increasing the opportunity for better outcomes. But some medical professionals, like Amy, she's a nurse practitioner, say some clinicians are becoming hesitant when it comes to prescribing opiates at all. I think that there do need to be safeguards and there do need to be some regulations, but for the most part, I know that Governor Kasich said the goal is to not come between health care providers and their patients, but I can tell you I've already seen an awful lot of that happening. These new rules do not apply to people with terminal illnesses or who are in hospice. They go into effect later this fall. At the State House, Jason Aubrey, 2 News, working for you.